talking portraiture, e-products, auto editing, e-templates, educational videos for shooting smarter, not harder at the photo channel pro. Hey, it's Crockett here. I spent four hours this morning with a group of 42 photographers in Metairie, Louisiana. It's a suburb of New Orleans with our good friends at Lakeside Camera. And I uh, did a couple seminars here this week and then I invited people early Sunday morning to get up with me. Let's go to one of those New Orleans cemeteries and I'll show them a couple of tips on how to improve their composition. So I want to share a couple of those tips with you. The one that I use the most is we want to, of course, reduce post-processing time as much as we can, right? Nobody really likes sitting in front of a computer for hours on end, either fixing problems or adding creative doodads unless they absolutely have to. Well, what if you focused on how you're going to reduce post-processing by moving post-processing to pre-processing? Here's what I mean. When you take a look at the menu items inside your DSLR or your mirrorless camera, you'll find out there's a lot of really cool things in there. One of them in particular is black and white. So this morning's group, when we went through the cemetery, they were concerned if they were gonna shoot black and white or shoot color, and the vast majority of the photographers had DSLRs, and they were thinking they're just gonna shoot a raw file in color, and then they can always move it to black and white in their raw processor later. But Here's one of the tips that I gave them on improving their images and reducing their post-processing. Try this. Try setting your camera to its black and white JPEG mode. Really. That way, when you're shooting the pictures, you're gonna see black and white pop up. And you made that decision creatively to leap into shooting black and white. And what if you didn't have the safety net of a RAW file? What if you had to set your exposure and maybe contrast values? And if you wanted to put a tint on your black and white? What if you did your post-processing on black and white as pre processing and plug it into the camera. That way when you took a picture or if you're shooting mirrorless you'll see black and white in the viewfinder. When you take that black and white picture you're seeing black and white. You're getting that closer feedback loop and you know you don't have any room for mistakes. That will help you with your creative process and your composition process. Try it if nothing else just for an exercise and see if that doesn't work for you. Then take it one more step. If you have the ability on your camera to adjust the aspect ratio, instead of leaving it 4.3 or 3.2 or 16.9, put it in the one to one aspect ratio right in the camera. That will force you to shoot square, JPEG, black and white, and if you want to change the contrast or add a tint to it, go ahead and do it at that point. That means you're pigeonholed into one specific style and watch your creativity bubble over. This is a great way to train yourself how to get more precise so that later, when you are shooting photo or photo and video in a hybrid universe, you will have the confidence and the skills to know, hey, I really could shoot a JPEG black and white if I wanted to. Try it. Talking portraiture, e-products, auto editing, e-templates, educational videos for shooting smarter, not harder at the photochannel.pro.